The hook window is comprised of many sections. I'm just going to invoke hook now with my keyboard shortcut. And let's run through what we have. So first we have our title bar, and this contains the name of the foreground application or document. Then below this, we have our hooked links. So any files or resources that you've previously linked to, they will be listed here. Next to the title, we have our title menu. And clicking here gives us a list of actions that can be carried out on this particular file. And we run through these in other videos, so be sure to check them out. To the right of this, we have some shortcuts. So the first is a copy link shortcut. So it will copy a link to whatever is here in this title bar. Next to that is the hooked link button. If you have a link to another resource already on your clipboard, then pressing this button will link this file to that one, making a bi-directional link. Next we have a search function, which is gonna be covered in another video. And then to the far right, we have a settings cog. And this is where we can find a sub menu that allows access to things like application preferences, a help section and more. If you have items in the hooked section, you can use your arrow keys to navigate them and open a link by pressing enter. At the very bottom of the window is a status bar where there are instructions on how to delete the link or reveal it in Finder. Below this, we have a pin section. Now this contains any links that you have pinned and this means that it doesn't matter which context you are in, whether you're invoking hook on an email or an Excel spreadsheet, it doesn't matter. These links will appear ready for you to access straight away. So it's a handy way to keep those frequently used files on hand ready to open. Let's test that reveal file in finder function. I'll just press command shift R and sure enough, there is the file's true location. I'll close and bring up hook again. Now, if you don't want to see the pin section, you can press Option, Command and P and the section disappears. Or you can make it reappear with the same shortcut. Then below this are the most recently accessed files using hook. Again, these are persistent no matter which file that you currently have in the title bar. And you can hide it with Option, Command, R. And I'll press it again to show it again. Okay, what else is here? Now to the right of the links is a link menu, which is similar to the title menu, except the action you take is relevant to this link instead. So we can delete the link, we can copy it, we can copy it in markdown format, we can hook it to a new document or to a new note document, and whichever application is your default note-taking application will appear here. In this case, it's text edit. You can rename the link, you can focus on it, which I'll show you in just a second, and you can unpin it if it's already been pinned or reveal it in Finder from here. Under Advanced, we can share the link, and here we can see the mediums for sharing displayed. Now the chevron to the right is a focus mode, and this shifts the context. You'll see the name in the title bar has now changed. So it's now as though we've navigated to this particular MP4 file and invoked hook, and below I'll see any files that have been hooked to this one, rather than to the project plan that we just saw. And this is great for quick navigation between linked files. Now if I click again, it will be unfocused, and now I'm looking at the previous file that we were at the beginning of the video. Then finally, looking at the settings cog, there are numerous preferences that we're going to cover in the standalone video. However, there is a quick view functionality that you can use from the hook window. So if I move here, we can see the shortcut is Command and Y, and there are also other options here for showing and hiding different elements of the hook window. But if I select one of these hook links, press Command and Y, as long as the file format is supported, you will see a preview of the linked file on the right-hand side. If the file isn't supported, it simply won't work. So for example, this OmniFocus project here, all we can see is the OmniFocus icon. So that's the hook window. Using this efficiently is going to save you a lot of time.